If you would like to stream or record using a low-end PC, today I'll be showing you all exactly how to do that. Let's get right into it. The first step you're going to want to do is go to obsstudio.com and download the program. I would not recommend using Streamlabs OBS or Prism Live Studio due to those programs using a lot more usage on your computer. Once you have that download and installed, you're just going to open the program and then go to the settings in the bottom right corner. Once you have the settings pulled up, you're just going to want to go under general and the first thing we're going to change is the theme. This is something that is not needed but I prefer the dark theme rather than the Yami theme. The first thing I would definitely recommend doing is under the output box. I definitely recommend checking the confirmation dialog boxes just in case you don't accidentally start or stop your streams or your recording. Once you have those checked you're just going to click on apply and then we'll move on. The next section we're under is the streaming category. Here is pretty much where you're just going to log in on what you stream on. So all you're going to want to do is click on service and then whatever you stream on you're just going to click on it and then just click on connect account and then pretty much under here you're just going to log in on whatever platform you want to stream on and once you have connected your account as you can see it just says connected account and then your name and that's all you need to do under here so just click on apply and then we're going to move on what we're going to move to next is the output settings which is the most important part for your streaming under output mode you're just going to click on advanced and all this might look confusing but i'm just going to go through the list top to bottom under audio track i would just leave that at one for the audio encoder you're just going to leave it as the ffmpeg aac under the video encoder this varies by everyone but for the sake of this tutorial i'm just going to leave it as x264 which is streaming off your cpu i would not rescale your output as that would take more usage from your computer under the encoder settings i would leave the rate control as cbr now under bitrate this really varies off your internet connection you typically want to stream around four to 5,000 kilobits per second, but I would only recommend doing that if you have a higher speed connection. But if you have a slower internet speed, I would leave it around 2,500 to 3,000. For the keyframe interval, I would set that to two. For the CPU usage, I would try to leave it as very fast just to help improve the quality of your stream. But if your computer cannot handle it, just switch it to the ultra fast. Under profile, I would click on main and then under tune, I would just click on zero latency. And then you're just going to click on apply and then we're going to move on to recording under recording i would just leave it as standard for the recording format i would keep it as mkv this pretty much helps to where if obs crashes it will keep your video saved under the video encoder i would change it to x264 and then the audio encoder and track i would just leave it to how it is for the rate control once again i would leave it as cbr but for the bit rate i would up it more to around seven to eight thousand bit rate just because it's not really using as much internet connection as your stream would be. Once again, for the keyframe interval, I would change that to two. The CPU usage, I would keep it as very fast. For the profile, I would change that to main. And finally, for tune, I would change it to the zero latency. And then you're just going to want to click on apply. Now we're going to move on to the audio box. Under here, I would just leave everything under 160 bit rate as that is a good quality for any video or stream. And for this video, we're not going to be using replay buffer because that will use more of your CPU and graphics. Now we're going to move on to the audio. The only two things I would change under here is the default audios. For the desktop audio, I would set it to your headset so you know what the audience is hearing. And then to the microphone, obviously the microphone that you want to use. So for me, it's going to be the focus, right? And then I wouldn't change anything else under here. So you're just going to click on apply and we're going to move on. For the base resolution, I would just just leave it as 1080p but for the output resolution I would change it to 1080p because if you try to downscale your video that will use more of your computer so I would just leave everything at 1080p and then for the common FPS value I would just set that to 30 and then you're just going to click on apply if you would like any hotkeys you would just set that up here but for this video I'm not really going to be doing that and now we're just going to move to advanced for the process priority I would change that to above normal because you obviously want your stream to be the best quality rather than anything else on your computer the only other thing that i would change is go under the network settings and this is really just for people who do not have the greatest internet i would click on enable network optimizations just to try to help out your internet and improve your streams once you have all that done you're just going to click on apply and then okay and then your streams will be good to go if you enjoyed this video please be sure to drop a like and subscribe down below i'll be seeing you guys next time peace out